they can live. Oh well, somebody joined straight away. Colton Albert, hello there. Um, just about to do the Bill Paxton challenge, so you just start everything on normal. I have to turn the music volume down in this game, it's quite loud. I can't even hear myself speak with the headphones on. Check my audio levels. Everything's looking good. Hopefully. Ah, I see my dad's watching. Hello there, dad. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the stream. So, this challenge, I mentioned the rules yesterday, but I'll just go over them again. So the idea is you don't use any radar or any tools to help you. You've just got to watch the clouds in the direction of the wind and figure out where everything's heading. Um, only source of points is probes. Um, no points from photos, and you've got to stay on the road. So it's pretty much as close as possible to the challenge they're facing in Twister. Oh, one thing I was going to do before this, um, I completely forgot though, so sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so the one exception to off-roading is this little bit here. <laughs> Just because it's such a convenient shortcut. Um, yeah, I was going to add the Twister soundtrack um, just in the background. It works very well with this game. So we've got to sell already um, 17 game minutes into this. Um, so can we figure out which way it's moving? So look at the clouds. Is it moving away? Sometimes you see leaves floating Oh, there we go. See those leaves floating around in the... They give you a rough idea of which direction it's travelling. Yeah, see that? So it's heading that way, so it looks like it's heading towards Byron, so let's head over that direction. I do apologise, I can't read YouTube comments and play the game at the same time since I'm working on one screen. Oh, AS warning. Where's it going to be? The National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for Wakoda County. Wakoda. Hmm. Move into an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid the window. Byron also seems like a possibility as well, though. So, decisions, decisions. Do we head up to Wakota and risk missing something here? Or do we stay here known for a fact that we're missing what's going on up north? I'd say let's give this until... 9.30 in the game time to drop something. If nothing happens, then we'll head up north. So, key thing to look out for are debris clouds. There's one thing I've got to take into account is um, intercept opportunities. Is it just me or something spinning up over there? There might actually be more intercept opportunities up north than along here, since you've only got three roads in that in that town. If anything spins up, it's more than likely going to be over a field over here. Let's give it a little bit longer. And if not... Oh, we've got a wall cloud over here. So anything that forms is going to form probably in this clear slot here. Which means it's going to be over a field, and since we've got the no off-roading rule, over caught is going to be the best bet. Let's head up north. So this will be interesting if this actually challenge catches on and more people start participating. This could be really interesting to see the strategies people come up with. My strategy is just to try and drop three probes in front of every tornado possible. So it looks, it's just me or is there some rotation in there? Oh, there's a tornado. Very small one. Can we get in front of it? That's the question. 
Well, if everything's moving southeast like I think, then we should be able to get in front of it. Who are those silos about to get hit? hitting some stuff. So, can we figure out where the right point is to intercept? Looks like it's heading this way. The developer needs to make the bonds so that you can run through them so you can recreate the last scene. Just, oh, is it roping out? Ah. Oh. I'd say that's really disappointing. <laughs> Looks like something's forming over the center of the map. Let's keep an eye on that. This might drop something else. The cell doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Like it's not it's not fading away. Um Yeah, maybe just stand and watch. Uh, and if I get hit by lightning, I consider that an achievement. <laughs> Now, since in this new update, you can actually get killed by lightning. I wonder if that's happened to anyone yet. I'll have to keep an eye on the Discord. Oh, I'll have to give a shout out on the Discord, um, in the beta screenshots and videos um, channel. Um, somebody in the name was Wallaby on Discord. They had some really impressive photos from the game. Some epic nighttime lightning shots. Actually, is this cell fading? Wind direction. Is everything... Everything's heading further. Ooh, what's that? Okay, let's go. Um, if it's heading south, it'll be better to go back along the road we just came up. I think it's just going to be a big one as well. Let's say EF1, possibly EF2, just looking at the size of the funnel there. See, this is why I need Twister music, so that I can play the soundtrack when something epic's about to happen. Ah, oh, is that roped out too? Turn it along to the south. Yeah, I don't know if that's the warning for that. Turn it that just roped out. One thing I don't get, this car has a clutch, even though it appears to be an automatic transmission. Having the option of a manual transmission um, with like a USB stick shift and steering wheel and pedals in this game would be really fun. Oh yeah, that cell's falling apart. So, eyes are on this now. If it's moving, moving south, might be worth getting ahead of it actually. So, not the best start to the Bill Paxton challenge. I'm still on zero points. Whoa. What is going on there? Some weird artifact. Mm, there's a new cell forming there. I bet that looks a bit strange. I say maybe worth stick sticking to this cell. Even if something does form over here, getting south seems to be the priority. We have no cell. Only get EAS alerts for Wakota. I haven't heard it for um, Byron or Kowan, so I don't know what. Um, I don't know if it's not implemented, or if it's a bug, or if I just haven't heard it yet. Okay, I don't think there's much point getting on that cell, because if anything spins up, that's the southernmost tip of the map. So, you can't really intercept. There's a cell dying as well. challenge does run to midnight game time, so 
Still plenty of time for something interesting to happen. This does look like another cell's forming here. Let's get in front of it. Let's head east. That looks to be the best bet now. I think the rain looks more like rain shafts now rather than just... It kind of just looked like fog before. This game gets better, but this is the best. What did it cost, like, £11? Uh, I think that's what I paid for it, um, with it being an early access. This is the most entertainment I've got for ten pounds, like ever. Like I, th I think I've logged over a hundred hours in this game now. The only game I've played more than this is Kerbal Space Program, and that's developed by like, a proper company. This is developed by one person. Whoa, and. Yeah, that's a known bug. <laughs> oh, that's a good sign. What was that warning? If I can... To the north. Yeah, so that's to our north. One thing I'm going to do... Actually, does this work? Because I remember before the crosshair inside the car didn't actually work. Okay, you just get a little white dot. That's not always visible. Looks like it's heading this way. Is that a funnel? I think it is. Alright, so, using the camera, I'm not obviously not using this to take photos, but... <laughs> can come in useful for lining up or let's use this is technique you use in real life line the tornado up with that along the side of that f not fence post what's it called power line and um, see if the tornado is moving left to right and with respect to that power line if it is then we don't need to adjust oh, is it roped out again looks like it's roped out again not having very good luck here Sounds like we're about to get hailed on. So let's stay ahead of it. Don't know what that other warden was. We went to the south of your position. Hmm. I have to head south anyway. There's a road heading south a little bit further along here. Say headlights on. That doesn't look like that cell doesn't look like it's dying, so if it does drop anything, it might hit Byron here. Let's just stay ahead of it. Yeah, wind's still heading south. Well, I wonder if this is going to go severe warned. A lot of lightning. I just noticed the times reset. When did that happen? Was that when I did that epic jump? So I guess this kind of invalidates this challenge somewhat. <laughs> Make sure nothing drops right on top of us and <laughs> ends the game before it starts. Which I have had happen on f several occasions, actually. It's 
Good cloud to ground lightning. Oh, now there's a cell of a baron's so I'll keep an eye on both of these. Oh, looks like a wall cloud's forming there. It's definitely a wall cloud. See a clear slot there. Which, I, which is where the tornado will form. So I just need to make see which direction it's moving in. So I can't have that rotation if it's moving to the right. I may need to get on that road. You place myself right in front of it. Where's that clear slot? Let's keep an eye on the winds. see the rotation in it. Yeah, I was modding the game a couple of weeks back. And, uh, I was making really wide wedges, so they were about half a mile wide. I saw the wall cloud, and I positioned myself in front of it, but the tornado was bigger than I expected. So, just as it started to touch down without any warning, the gas station next to me exploded, and I was wearing headphones, and I uh, got quite a big fright. I've got the recording somewhere, I'll have to upload it at some point. Ah, that kind of looks like an inflow tail. Okay, it looks like if anything drops it's going to be a bit further east of here. Oh, there we go. See the debris cloud. So, let's drop some probes. If it's going to stay. If it's going to form and actually stay formed and not rope out. Head in this direction. Looks like we need to head a little bit further east. There we go. What I'll do is I'll deploy one here. Move a little bit further east, deploy another one, then a little bit further east and deploy the last one. Ah, oh, got the crouch bug. How close is it getting? Oh, car's getting pulled around. I'm pushed around by the wind, so that must be some RFD. Quickly take probe. I need to make sure I'm far enough away from the car so that I'm not still crouched when it finishes deploying. I'm getting quite close here. Especially the way of disabling the um, auto pop ups that come up when, um, whenever you die or a tornado comes. It's kind of annoying and don't really add anything to the game. Let's just watch it. It looks like we're at a safe distance here. I'm going to get a direct hit on one of the probes. So it looks like it's going to miss Byron. Looks like it's heading southeast. Let's just step back a little bit here. Yeah, where my probes are getting points, I might as well leave them deployed. 450 points so far. I guess that's an EF1. Just on the size of it. It would be good if the probes told you what the strength of the tornado was rather than the camera. That seems a bit more realistic. They're still getting points, let's leave them out. Gotta get every last point. And also it doesn't look like there's any other storms to chase, so let's just leave them out. Extra three points. Oop, another tornado warning. Where at?
In your area. Okay, let's just stay put then. Let's watch our heads. <laughs> unless it's the delay, unless it's talking about that tornado there and it's just wanting to come a bit late. Nope, there's another one forming. Right there. Might as well leave the probes where they are. Oh, wait. Just. Th I'm about to have triplets. Can't tell if that's a funnel. It might just be a cloud. There's definitely something spinning up over here, though. Getting 60 frames a second right now. Really happy with that. Ah, looks like it roped out. Probes aren't giving points anymore, so I think I'll collect these in. I'm not sure whether that tornado is meant to be in that clear slot, because in real life the tornadoes don't form under the clear slot. I mean, the RFD comes down, which punches a hole in the clouds, and then you get you get two cyclones. You get a cyclonic circulation to the north of it, or to the north, and then an anticyclonic circulation to the south. With obviously this being in the northern hemisphere, you'll get um, your tornado more likely to form on the northern side of it. Um, Skip Talbot does some really good videos explaining um, explaining some storm spotting techniques. And that's probably one of the most reliable ones. For figuring out where the tornado's going to form. Oh, it looks like my probe placement was just a little bit off. Let's see where the tornado crossed the road just a little bit further back there. Right, let's get so 565 points so far. I'll have to remember that. Because I'll have to, since the score resets at midday and midnight, and I'll have to remember what I had beforehand. Before 12 pm. Oh yeah, and this game's unmodded. Um, doing the challenge on a modded game just kind of defeats the purpose. So I'm not sure where to go. I don't think there's anything further north. I can have a drive out that way. Oh, one thing I will need to do, however, is upload my blow up a probe data to get some money because I will eventually have to buy fuel and stuff. So anything over this way doesn't look like it. See, so yeah, I've got bit less than half a tank so let's fill up. Last time I went to fill up my car um, I got a blue screen of death and my computer had to reboot. Hopefully that doesn't happen this time. If it does happen again then that's too much to be coincidence and I'll have to report that. So if the stream suddenly goes offline I'll be back on within a few minutes. Nope, looks like everything's fine. Three dollars a gallon. You Americans are so spoiled. I just filled up the car with half a tank yesterday. I think they cost like thirty pounds. So that's like what about fifty dollars for half a tank. You'd never hear the end of it if you had to pay a hundred dollars every time you filled your tank. Maybe in a bit less than that, it might be about twenty pounds, about thirty-five dollars. Then again, bread in America seems to be really expensive for some reason, bread and milk, so I guess it all evens out. Looks like something's gonna happen here. I see some houses get ripped apart. Is that a wall cloud? Those are just scud. I think it might be a wall cloud. 
that's really high precipitation. So something which I suspected in this game originally was that the highest precipitation cells, um, so cells with the most rain and hail, put down the strongest tornadoes. I suspected that. Then I looked at the code and confirmed that. So I haven't looked at the code for the latest beta, but I imagine it hasn't changed much in terms of uh, in terms of, like the rain emission rate. So we're probably about to see something epic here. I'm going to say EF4. I guess it's going to be an EF4. So, given that's my guess, sitting right under the clear slot's probably not the best idea. Is that something there? Can't tell. Uh, I'm going to back up just a bit. Let's see if anything goes down, and it's going to be right on top of us. Which direction is it moving? It looks like it's heading that way. Okay. Where? Let's keep an eye out. It might be right on top of us, so I need to be ready to drive. So that's where we are. Another tornado warning. Okay, something's going to happen now. So I had 565 points before 12pm, so I need to add that to my final score. Okay, I can't see it. Is that it there? Ah, I thought we were about to see something epic. Let's, well, still need to get ahead of it. We would have expected a much bigger tornado given the size of this cell. But I need to get onto that road paralleling it. Hmm. Should we go in the farm or... Uh, I think we've got time, actually. I think we've got time. Just gotta be careful I don't get stuck in the mud on here. It is raining. It's forming there. Right, let's not crash into this. Which are what that is? Some sort of farm equipment. Looks like it sprays something. Um, insecticide or something. I'm guessing from a limited experience playing farming simulator. Right, let's get some points from the probes, and then what I have to quickly do is head to that road there, which parallels this. Let's get all three out. And at some point, I'm going to have to um, drive all the way down here, <laughs> down that road, and then intercept there. I've got to leave myself enough time to pick up the probes as well, so I'm going to have to do that pretty soon, actually. Let's give it two more pings. Actually, I think I might have to go around now. Okay, we'll take the hold in the last ping and got me my points, so let's pick that up, drop it in there. Yeah, let's move. There it is there, I need to get ahead of it. It doesn't help that your speed's limited on these farm roads. I think it is, anyway. Can you get up to 80 on these? Struggling to get over 50. There it is, nice wall cloud around it. Seeing a wall cloud with that much structure, you'd expect a stronger tornado. It could strengthen. Right, handbrake turn here. Let's 
get ahead of it. No my look, it'll shift directions right as we get ready to intercept. Got another EF-1 by the looks of it. We don't have very much time here. It's about to start ripping those fences up. Let's try and capture that. Um, where do I need to be? About here, possibly? Um, I might have overshot, actually. Might need to back up a bit. Trying to judge it. I think here's an alright place. Let's drop one probe. Oh, getting sisters. I think there's another funnel about to drop there. Can't see it. Ah, oh, looks like it's rubbed out. I think I need to turn the car around. There needs to be a car wash in this game. Look at that. It's pristine when I started the stream. Where's the wind going? This is going to be really interesting at night time. The camera does have night vision, so I'll have to rely on that. So it's definitely moving west. Is it moving north, though? Don't really want to waste time going back to get that probe. Let's get ahead of it. So it's heading this way. I don't know how far north or south it's moving though. I think there's another tornado forming. Just there. We will have sisters, um, which is going to be... As if we get the first one, we might be able to time it so we can get some points off the second one as well. I just can't really tell which way they're going. They look like they're moving east to west. I can't tell north to south though. Oh, this is going to be a bit close. Looks like it's moving north. Whoa. Let's get a little bit further north and then get ready to deploy. Car trunk, take probe. Drop it here. Let's try not to die. Let's get the second one. We've got the tornado sirens as well, so there's a lot happening now. I don't think anything's full. I think that's this tornado which is triggering that off. I wish I had that other probe along there, but we wish it would have missed this opportunity if we'd gone to get it. Hopefully the chase at some point takes us back over there and I can pick it up again. Alright, about to see some houses get wrecked. Alright. Need to pick these up and try and intercept that other one. So you can see how strong it is because by how much damage it does to the houses, so it's not really picking up that much. There's a lot of fence just throwing garden furniture around, so it's not too dangerous. What if this will destroy the gas station? Well, how close do I want to get? Um, here seems about right. Get the most number of points while not put myself in unnecessary risk.
So there's another road which runs along that tree line there, so I have to try and get ahead of it, ahead of both of these, see if I can intercept both again. That's if they last that long. I think the longest a tornado lasts in this game is five minutes. Again, less than 10 points for the probes. I think we're trying to intercept along that road. We'll try and get them as close as possible. Like, I don't think it's on a collision course. With oh, if we look at the path of the tornado, where is it? Hmm. It doesn't have one. I don't think it's going to hit this road, but we can at least get closer to it and get some more points. Alright. Ah, crouched again. I hope to have at least seen one violent tornado in this stream. See, I can figure out which way the wind's going again, because it's obviously shifted. I don't know, is it going exactly west, or is it northwest, southwest? Can't really tell. Let me get any points from these now. Yeah, it looks like this. No yeah, this is a known bug as well. It looks like where the tornado tracks along the ground and where the actual mark is left on the ground are yeah, offset somewhat. I haven't seen that until now. I have seen people post screenshots of the bug though. So hopefully that's fixed soon. So then the question is, do I place the probe where it looks like the tornado is or where the game thinks the tornado is? That tornado to the north is looking stronger. Not doing much damage though. I think that's coming straight for us. Is that a third one? We're about to have triplets. That one's looking big as well. That one looks like an AF3. Okay, let's abandon everything else and get on that AF3. That's going to do some serious damage. Actually, if I drop it here, it looks like it's going to be behind the smaller one in front of it, so I'm able to get both tornadoes in a position myself right. Is it roped out? Doing a bit of damage, nothing too much. <laughs> there goes a chair. So, what to do? Let's change directions again.
It's moving away. Okay, let's drive through Wakoda, get intercepted on the other side. Do we have time? No, we don't have time to intercept it in this direction. House the floating roof over there. See, I don't think getting in the path of this is going to be a good idea, but I can get close. This might give me the chance to pick up another probe along there, though. Nice elephant trunk there. See, so, so with these, a direct hit gets you a lot more points, but they're so narrow, it's going to be really difficult to get it a direct hit. So I don't know if it's worth the extra risk trying to do it. Should probably not waste my camera battery. Okay getting less points from that one. Let's get in front of the other one now. <laughs> Do have time. Given this road here... That might buy us a little bit extra time. What I'm going to do is pull up in front of this barn. This is part of the road, I think. What's actually in this barn? It's a bunch of dangerous farm implements like the movie or <laughs> I'm gonna guess there's nothing in here. Uh, there's something. Not quite the same as Twister. might see some hay bales thrown about. We would have hoped to see something a lot stronger. Right, then I'll really get many more points now. Oh, 
didn't want to do that. Oh yeah, I forgot you can cancel probes now. Let's try and stand up. Need gas again. Okay, we have to go past the central gas anyway. Let's fill up. Oh yeah, there are cows on this map, so you can recreate that famous scene from Twister. That's actually one of the missions, if you play the missions in the game. You gotta get a photo of a cow picked up by a tornado. Still on the ground. Um, might as well try and intercept it. Looks like it's the only tornado on the map right now. Oh yeah, now I can pick up this probe. I'll be driving past it. I'm not convinced that tornado is gonna. That's not going to rope out before we get in front of it. Eighty miles an hour feels so slow in this game. Is the tornado still on the ground? Yeah, it is. Uh, let's try and get close. Oh, tornado one to the south. Yeah, I'm kind of getting sick of this cell. Let's just drop two little EF zeros, EF ones. Let's head south. So I've got three in-game hours left. One thing that's different in this version is that apparently this, you see stars at night time in the sky rather than just being black. A tornado warning. I haven't seen any tornadoes though. Uh, turn off my headlights, just kind of drown out everything. If anything forms, it'll be in that direction. further south than this. This is about as far south as you can go. Camera's night vision though, which will help. I guess one question is, for this challenge, can you get points from warning people? I'm going to say no, because that wasn't really part of Twister. The whole point was to develop a warning system, but you didn't really see them going out of the way to warn people. Okay, so it looks like we've got about one in-game hour left, so that's a few minutes. So, um, thank you everybody who's watched so far. Um, I'll be ending the stream in a few minutes. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this, subscribe. If you've got any suggestions to make this more exciting, um, please do leave a comment. Uh, I do read the comments. Um, if the suggestion is doable and I think it'll be entertaining, then I'll, I'll definitely do it. I think I'll do a modded stream next time, because I've been streaming now, I'm not sure how long, maybe 40 minutes? Half an hour, 40 minutes-ish? And nothing's really happened. I've had two tornadoes which have kind of moved back and forth over the same spot. But then again, it's, it does make it more entertaining when an actual big tornado does form. This is a trade-off. Like a slot machine which doesn't pay out, but when it does it pays out massively. Or one which pays out constantly, but not very much. Turn those headlights off, it's messing up the um, night vision. So yeah, um, 898 plus 565 points, so I'll go back and confirm that. So it looks like my final score is around 1,400 or thereabouts. There you go, so I think that marks the end of the challenge. So yeah, I'll, I'll update the video description with the actual um, score that I got. I encourage other people um, do the same challenge, stick by the same rules, and record yourselves, post your scores. Hopefully we turn this into a real challenge. Um, thank you for taking the time to watch. Oh, is that a tornado now? No. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch. Like I say, subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I will listen to suggestions. I'm going to end the stream now, so I'm signing off.